one because I've been gone, y'all. I've been in my yay, like out of this world. But I'm back, and we are about to do some basic tutorials. Like, nothing super fancy yet, but like, I'm trying to be consistent. So, if you follow me on platforms like TikTok, Instagram, you know that you've been seeing me like post a lot more. I'm trying to be consistent. And YouTube is one of those things that I have not been consistent at. But I'm back, baby. So let's get into it. Be patient with me. My goal is to post every Tuesday. And then some, I think every other week, I'll do a Tuesday and a Sunday. So it'll be like one week, just one video. The next week, two videos, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah. So, yeah. Consistency, y'all. Pray for me. So that's the goal. I have a lot of videos that I've already pre-recorded, but due to me not knowing how to edit really well and me not knowing how to do angles really well, we'll see if they get posted or not. I might have to do voiceovers and y'all know I cannot do good voiceovers because I can barely even speak right now. Hello, shalom, it's me, Kalula, I'm back. Um. Today, I'm gonna show you something basic, and I promise you, if you stick with me, we are going to get onto those high quality garments that everybody wants. But first, I'm gonna teach you how to do the basic. And this video, since I'm coming back to YouTube after my hiatus, will be on fringes. So, I'm gonna show you a couple of type of fringes that we have, and we'll go from there. So I want to show you guys a couple of different fringes, starting with the basic ones, the bullion fringes, the classic, always handy dandy, yeah, the bullion fringes. These come in a variety of different colors. My favorite colors are probably going to be the gold, the black, the white, those three right there. If you have that, that can go on any outfit that you have, the gold, the white, and the black um some more fringes would be like feast garment type fringes i guess i mean you could wear this every day but i mean i wouldn't because it's really not that safe in the washing machine in my opinion but we have the tassel fringes now these i would not wear every day but you can if you would like and um this brand particularly is what I use on majority of my garments unless someone has a color request then I'll put something else on but usually I'll put this on a feast garment and um, if you want to make garments for other people as well this right here is going to be the one that saves you the most money you get 10 yards I believe 10 or 12 yards of this for just $30 and you can't beat that you really can't you can't um then we have tassels that you can wear on like everyday garments you know i wouldn't put this on a men's garment but like you know like on a woman's dress or skirt this is really cute i have a couple of dresses with um this type of tassel fringe it's more of a cotton material kind of stiff but you know it's cute little dainty and compared to the big boy fringes they're smaller in size and it has like a smaller band but um really cute um another type of fringe i don't know what these are called i'm gonna be honest i think they're called bush <laughs> i don't know but there's these fringes right here and the um beauty of these fringes are once you put on your fringe, you just take, not on camera now, not on camera, but you just take um, the string from the bottom and you pull it and then your fringes will be kind of like loose. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I don't do these. I mean, I do, but I don't wear them often due to once you wash them, they just be going, uh, they, gang signs, 
<laughs> that's, that's what they do. They throw up gang signs. And because of that, your girl just, I don't know. I know um, ironing is like a lost trade out here for a lot of sisters. I iron because I make garments and I have to, but I do not iron for fun. I do not iron for my own pleasure. Mm -mm, no. So um, those are a couple, but there are other types of fringes and I'll show you some of those as well. All right, Israel. So, um, I don't know if you know, but I'm very particular when it comes to fringes and I feel like they should look uniform. They should look the best of the best because I mean, they're a reminder. So I like my stuff to look well put together, not just thrown on there because I have to have this on my clothes, but because I want them on my clothes and I want people to look at them and be like, Ooh, that looks nice. What I'm gonna show you is my continual sewing. So my fringes that I'm about to show you how to sew, when you wash it, you're good. Like one, one sew around, no stopping, no stopping with the sewing and you don't have to do much. But it's three times we're gonna use, just put the thread already in uh, I'm gonna use a darker thread so you can see. Also, when it comes to sewing machines and picking out a sewing machine, you do not have to buy something super expensive. The garments that I make, I've been making them with this little sewing machine right here. And I'm gonna show you how much my sewing machine costs. So got out now, it's 14, 14 years later, still running and it still makes my garments. Now I do have other equipment, but I use all my sewing with this machine. I do my fringes with this machine. I do my basic sewing on, on the garments with this machine. I only use my other machine for embroidery and I use another one for surging. But when it comes to sewing, this buddy. So when I'm telling you, you really do not have to get anything fancy unless you're trying to produce and make a business but if you just need something to sew fringes with get you a cheap machine you do not have to spend a hundred dollars but let me, let me let me stop that's your money that's your business but i'm just telling you i only invested in one thing and that was a serger and an embroidery machine if it wasn't for that this right here good old faithful that's all i need so i have a brand new shirt it's red and I'm about to put these red fringes on. But anyway, all right. So I'm putting my fringes in. I'm putting my fringes down on top of the shirt, right? And I use this, this little, um, this part of the shirt, I use it as a guideline when it comes to shirts that have like this thick piece. I use it as a guideline to kind of keep me focused or in the lane that I need to be in. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna come on down, then back stitch. Once I see that I'm getting close to the end right here, I go about maybe an inch or two above it. Good. 
good. But I moved my needle up. I put my needle up and where the lapping part is, I back this up just about this much, not a lot, but I back it up there, right? This is with the same thread. The thread is already inside the fabric. And then I press down my, my um, foot lever. I then switch the needle position. This is what I do, but you don't have to. You can always just push your stuff over, but I like to change my needle position for me. And then I sew forward and I sew back. And now, I hope you can see this. I now cut where I have, I cut and I have some extra to go on top. And then once I get down to here, I then lift this thing up, rotate it, looking at me, go down, I go forward, and then I go back, and then I go forward, lift it up, turn it, and now it's on the other side, all with the same thread, okay? All right, once you get back to the center area where it is, you back and go forward, and you're done. I call this my one continual. All right, so with this fringe, you will never have to worry about it unraveling in the wash. And if it does, call me up because you did something wrong. <laughs> I'm just playing. But no, for real. This. And so, like, each layer is staggered. So, because it's staggered like that, it makes the ending part very secure versus it meeting perfectly where it can open up. You're not really wasting anything, but this much amount of fringes by overlapping. But even there, like it's secure. That's what you want. You want security. So you're secured by overlapping the fringe. Then you're also secured by overlapping the ribbon. So that's like double overtime. So I have one of these skirts that I'm doing for a sister. And it's a circle skirt. So, you know, that means... A lot of fringes I don't even know how many yards to be honest when it comes to circle fringes sometimes it can be three yards sometimes it can be four or five yards it really just depends on the skirt um, that's why I always recommend like you know I like to say people money so get you some budget friendly nice fringes you know um, or something like this um, and it'll be really good so what I like to do whenever I'm working on a garment is I like to find that little hard piece that be on, um, yeah. So like this right here is the seam of the garment, the inside. And so this is the hard side on the outside. That's what I like to find. This is the only time you're gonna see me overlap and just sew at one time. Now. These will not come undone either because I'm going to show you the overlapping method. You have to overlap your fringes. If you leave a gap or you make it where it touches each other, your your fringes will come off in the washing machine. Has not happened to me because I don't do that. But everyone who tells me that about those stories, they do it. So, just like um, how braiders multitask, it's kind of like that when putting on fringes. So this also has a small border. 
something that you can do, but you don't have to. What I like to do is go ahead and tuck my blue already underneath, you know, right here. So it's already tucked. All right. So I put it on to zigzag and I do the widest zigzag. I don't know if I can show you. I'll try. I lay everything on top of each other and I'm not going to go over this multiple times. I see my fringes are going to end right here, so I'm going to go a little bit past that. I'm going to go ahead, cut off. Now, I'm going to overlap my thread again, my ribbon over my stuff. So I have blue ribbon, but I'm actually going to use gold thread, kind of to give it like a accent to it. So first what I'm going to do, once I get close up onto the fringe, because you know I like to just continue on. So I already used the base gold to stitch down my fringe, and now I'm about to go over the ribbon this is the only time where you have to be very 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 careful to try to stay as straight as you can so on your sewing machine you may have um something that makes it the needle go far to the left i like to use that and keep my stuff lined up within that window Now, you can either just leave it raw or you can do like a simple tuck. It's up to you. Tucking is just extra. But like I said, you're going to sew all the way until you get to almost the edge of it. And then you're going to pivot your machine down. So down. Then back stitch up and then back stitch back and sew back down. Then pivot your machine and you'll be on the other side. And stay close to the edge. So this is how it looks with another color on the fringe.
So I wanted to include some places where you can buy your fringes. And one, of course, is Amazon. But if you want to support your own people, I'm going to show you my top four so far. Um, if there are any other ones that I didn't list, I don't know about them yet. But comment below and I'll check them out and I will definitely support them as well. But the four that I know of as of right now that I use are shirts and fringes. I use them and I usually get... Um, a giant box from them and that lasts me probably like eight months um, another one that I go to is 12 gate fringes they usually have like a variety of piano like bullions so it's like a multi-colored bullion which I find really cool so I go there usually when I want those kind of styles and then there's so royal they have a lot of mini fringes, and I usually get my mini fringes from them. Um, I usually get fringes for them for my son and his garments because, you know, he's a young man. So his stuff, he'll outgrow quickly. And I also shop with garment borders. They also have fringes. And like I said before, if there are any other um, fringes places that you guys know of this is why i do not do voiceovers i will check them out just leave a comment below and i'll check them out all right shalom y'all